in this video a overview from all the books that I have published in the past. They are all available on the Lulu website. And here is the more or less complete overview. These books here are written in Dutch, so not available for everyone. Of course you uh, must be able to read and write Dutch, but anyway. Uh, simple Analog Electronics Part 2, Part 3 and Part 4. And many videos on YouTube are based on the on these books, these Dutch books. But anyway, here we have the schematics tree book. Transistor switches, then generators and cathode ray tube circuits. Here you see uh, the oscillator circuit from a high voltage generator that's in the front of this book. And in this book you find many interesting circuits. Let's see. Op amp. Measuring devices. A schematic from an oscilloscope that goes to approximately 40 kilohertz. That's not much, but anyway, it shows the principles. Um, analog timers, they are also on my YouTube channel. LED and light circuits, etc. etc. So, I think it's quite a good book and it is also available on Amazon. Here a circuit. Etc. So, uh, schematics 2, audio amplifiers and loudspeaker boxes. I've sold this book for uh, m uh, many times. And the reason is, in my opinion, that it shows uh, the very, very basic principles of making good audio amplifiers. Here, for instance, a schematic. And I mean classical audio uh, analog amplifiers. For instance, this filter is in this book. I've published that also on my YouTube channel. And here Magneto dynamic element that was a video that I published approximately two weeks ago. Uh, many other interesting circuits. Uh, how to make good properly audio amps with no earth problems. That's one of the most important uh, issues in audio amps, all the wiring and the earth connections have to be made properly to prevent hum. This is a typical book about radios, shortwave receivers from 2 up to 10 megahertz and this circuit is also on YouTube a shortwave receiver from say 2 up to 10 megahertz and it's a complete description of such an amp uh, such, such a radio this is the VFO the 
power supply. Again, uh, a overview from that simple radio that can receive between 2 and 10 megahertz. So I think it's a quite good book for everyone that wants to make an analog radio amplifier. And of course this book, I've drawn this book back because the schematics were not uh, repro reproducible. So there's a problem. It's quite a good book, it was quite a good book, but uh, too many um, uh, problems regarding the uh, reproducibility from circuits. Uh, I can say that this circuit, for instance, worked very properly during many years in my home, but when I wanted to make it again, uh, it didn't work. So, anyway, that's a problem that you can uh, uh, meet when you want to make certain circuits. Anyway, here the overview and I wish you luck. When you are interested in my books go to the Lulu uh, website and see uh, all the books that I have published.